What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth. I'm coming at y'all to finally, finally try to attempt to see if I can take down my hair. Um, as y'all know, y'all been following me for a while now. Y'all been keeping up with my videos. My hair done been in since I was back in Florida. And that was, I think I did my hair on September the 1st or September the 2nd. Either way now, it's been, um, this is week number 8. So, I am going to... Take look first of all, let me plug in my bonnets. Hello, goldencreations.wells.com. You can go purchase this bonnet. This is the black and white zebra print bonnet, and it's also reversible. It has pink underneath. Okay, check me out, y'all. This is the large size, and it can fit all of your hair, your weave, your wigs, your lace fronts, your half wigs, your extensions, your ponytails, and your big old forehead. I told y'all already, anyways, girl. Let me turn around and let you see what it looked like from the back. And Y'all ready for this hot mess of hair I got going on here? Okay. Oh, let me show y'all that other side, too. Why y'all looking? Let me show you the other side, okay? You can wear this bunny two ways. How the how? How you like me now? Anyhow, let me go ahead and show y'all this hair. Boom, I know y'all been waiting for this ratchetness. I was pulling on this this morning, so this is what my hair is looking like. I know a lot, uh, my last video, a lot of y'all was like, let it go, go mom, let it go. Honey, I was going to let it go, but I was, I had things to do, you know. So, here we go. I kept it moisturized and sealed the entire eight weeks or whatever. So, and if y'all been following me for a long, long time, y'all already know that I do long-term protective styles. Usually, it's not in this. It's usually in that beehive pattern. So, this is week number eight. And with my little brush here, okay, so look at them edges. Oh, girl, my hair is a hot mess. I already know it. <laughs> yeah, because my last video, somebody was coming. Girl, you need to let it go. You need to let it go. I know, I know. I told y'all. I ain't mad, though. I'm glad. I know y'all was telling me the truth. <laughs> so, look. Oh, okay. So, this is what my hair looking like. I just took the bobby pin out. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Y'all seeing this. Okay, so I'm just going to start taking this. I ain't got my rotatable chair now, y'all, so y'all yeah, gonna have to bear with me. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna start taking it loose down here in the best way I can. I ain't got no, uh, I ain't got no rat tail comb, so this like the best comb I can get right here. It ain't don't even got, it got a little, it got some little sticks at the end, so let's see if I can get this stuff loose. Y'all, there is gonna be matted up hand this. And a lot of shedded hair, whatever. Um, this right here is not like the best thing to do for a lot of other people, but I can deal with it with my head because I done, I done uh, tried it before. The done it before. Used to do it all the time. Y'all know. Y'all know I keep it 100 with y'all. Coming on here looking like this. It is what it is. I got to let y'all see what really goes down. Before my hair start touching my booty and things, I want y'all to know where I come from, okay? Where I started, okay? So, write it down, take a picture. I don't give a... All right, here we go. So, I'm going to take all of this loose. And as y'all can see, <laughs> my hair's thin at the end. Y'all already know why. Do I need to repeat myself? Hey, if I need to repeat myself, somebody explain it down in the comment section below what I've been through, where I've been, and where I'm going. Hallelujah. Okay? So, I'm going to take all this out in the middle because this is like the braid where I started at. And all of this hair in the middle, praise the Lord, everybody, is who knows what it is. It ain't, it don't feel... Oh, I feel like I can just put my hands through. But I know this piece back here is always the piece that's, like, matted up or whatever. And that that back piece led to a braid in the top that went this way. If y'all can still see it, see the zig, zigzag way. I did it that way. That was the um the anchor braid to hold the combs for the drawstring ponytail that I had in there. That's why I went zigzag with that. But um, y'all can go back to my first video. When I first, first did this, I was in Florida at my mama's house and in there sitting on the floor, girl, because my mama wouldn't let me be great. So I had to sneak and record and in the room. So that's why I did that, y'all. <laughs> 
anyway, let me see if I can take this mess all loose, girl. It's, 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 it ain't. Don't feel too hard. But I know my biggest issue going to be the little ones. It, I just have to be patient. The thing about if you leave your hand a long-term protective style, a long-term protective style, you need to have a lot of patience when you're taking your hair loose and when you're detangling it. Y'all, I'm very tender-headed, so y'all, I am, I, am, I am the person of many faces anyway. It's child, so we're going to try to do it. I'm doing it gently. That's why I'm doing it with my fingers so I can be as gentle as possible. I don't want to take the comb and comb through this like ch -ch -ch. no that's a no no don't do that if you're gonna have your long-term protective style in don't try to take it out with a comb you know how they did in the old days and be doing like that and comb it through don't do that because you're gonna have that comb gonna be full of hair i mean your hair is gonna shed either way but you don't want it to shed no more than what it has to okay you feel me you still with me okay so i'm gonna take all of this loose in the front cha to God be the glory. Okay, it's almost down. Ooh, I'm real. Look, yeah, I got Jesus, Jesus. I, I, my, my, my forehead tingling, Lord. I can't get the words out. Okay, so I'm going to just easily, easily, the um, not easily, gently, gently, girl. Just take these loose, one little little piece of twist at a time. That's the thing about long-term protective styling. Have a lot of patience. If you busy that day and you got a lot to do, don't take your hair out, y'all. Uh, um, that's why I didn't take my hair out, y'all, because I was busy. I was busy making those bonnets, y'all, for y'all. And um, I wasn't finna rush and try to make bonnets and then rush and try to take my hair loose, girl, because it would have been a rush to the hospital and it would have been a 911 episode up in here because my hair would have been on the flow, okay? We don't want that. We do not want that. We do not want to shed hair unnecessarily, okay? Because we're going to shed hair anyway, but we don't want to make the shedding our own fault, okay? And I know a lot of people, now, I'm going to say this, disclaimer, just because I can do my hair like this don't mean you can, okay? So don't try to sit at home unless you're brave. Now, if you tried and you, you failed the first time, uh, you might not need to try it again. Or if you tried and you failed, make sure you pay attention to this video of how gently you have to be when you're taking your hair loose. Um, and at all times, whenever you're doing your hair, you need to have patience, especially if you're on a hair growth journey. If you ain't got no patience, you might as well don't even start. Wait so you can get yourself disciplined to sit down and... And be still and pay attention and take your hair loose. You know, us as black folks, we just have to do that. Because that's how our hair need a whole lot of time and attention and some love and care. And I know y'all probably going to say, girl, you want love and a care nothing about your hair. But yes, indeed I was. I was. I was. <laughs> it just didn't look like it. Because I was moisturizing and sealing my hair on a regular basis. And I was washing it and deep conditioning it as well um while these braids were in yes i was yes i was so anyways you guys i'm going to continue to take this mess out i know you guys can see it like thin on the end but that just had it is you feel me because i went through a whole lot with hair loss and with um chemotherapy and all of that so um one day i'm gonna start clipping in it but when i feel like it um so after don't comb in your hair unless it's fully fully finger detangled in the sections that you need or want to comb in because if you do not you're gonna lose way more hair than what you want to lose okay so oh okay so let me turn in the back and show y'all what i'm doing in the back right here it's kind of matted up it's kind of matted up at the bottom you know you tend to get matted around your crown not is that your crown your nape area and all your hairline out here because that's the part where you're going to like sweat at the most is around your hairline. It's going to be as much, you know, things touching it, shirt collars and all of that stuff, you know, that helps to um, match your hair up just that much more. So what I do to get rid of the mat, I just hold and I pull and I hold and I pull gently. And if I feel like it don't want to come out, I just keep gently pulling at it until it loosens up. I already sprayed my hair with S Curl Spray. I hope, hope y'all can see this. Okay. I already sprayed my hair with S Curl Spray. And um, for the most part, it's moisturized. I don't know. Y'all can see my hands. They moisturize. But 
little tasks like this, things like this, y'all got to be real careful. So that part is detangled right there. So I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. See, I hold the majority of the hair and then I slowly pull out smaller sections like this right here is locked up. I can feel it. So I just keep um, massaging that and pulling it and massage and pull gently. Don't take the comb and rake it through there. See how that piece came out a little bit right there? And I just keep doing that to the rest of the hair. Have patience. Don't snatch a comb through your hair because you're frustrated because it won't come loose. It'll come loose. Chill out. Take, take your time. Go take you a drink or something if you're that frustrated with your own hair. Uh, if you just don't want your hair, child, don't snatch a comb through it and snatch it all out. It's your hair, you know. If you don't want it, snatch it out. But I kind of want mine, so I'm going to be gentle, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I got one more piece right here. Y'all can see I done inched over a little bit. All of that's loose. All of that that was caught up in there, that's loose. See that? I can run my fingers through it, but not through it, through it. Okay, find a few kinks in there. That's loose. Now, all that shed that had that was shedding every day, um, it's still in my head. And it has not had a chance to escape because my hair has been in a protective style and not being combed or manipulated. So all of the excess shedded hair that you shed, uh, what, 150 to 100 strands a day, it's still in there. So I'm going to lose. Um, my shedded hair is going to already come out. It's going to it's gonna come, not already come out. It's going to come out when I detangle it and with my fingers and also with the comb. So that right there for the most part is done. We're going to keep moving on to the next sections. <laughs> Woohoo! Y'all still there? Okay. So that, oh, that came. Okay, y'all. So now that we got the back loose, all of that down, we're just going to take sections. And why am I saying we? Y'all do y'all have to? Anyhow, child, I'm going to take these little sections and I'm going to make sure I pull or loose all the hair that's maybe matted up or whatever. And I just take them and I do them like this. All the dirt and everything is just going, you know, it's coming out. Make sure I got it completely finger detangled before I go in it with any type of comb, okay? You know why? Because your comb, your fingers are bigger than your comb. And your fingers can feel what you pull it versus what the comb pulls. You can only feel so much with the comb. So if you feel something that's snagging like this, you can go in there and gently pull it apart versus getting the comb and snatching it through. Okay? I know my hair is like a bad example for a lot of you guys, but honey, hey, y'all keep following me. Keep believing in me and keep believing this hat going to be to the floor one day. Well, maybe not to the flow, but hey. And take this comb here. Now that I finger detangle it as much as I can, this is a wide tooth comb. Can't get no wider than this. This is the Hercules comb versus the combs at the house, though. You see the difference? Okay. These teeth are wider and also bigger. There's no seams in this comb to rip your hair or none of that. That's why I like this comb, honey. This comb was a must. When I was at the cancer center and my hair was coming out and I was feeling some kind of way and crying and depressed, I bought this comb, honey. It was worth every penny I paid for it because um, at first when I got it in the mail, I saw it and I was like, ah, uh, this comb don't look no different than the other comb. But honey, when you comb your hair with it, you can feel a difference. So I'm just going to go gently through this. I'm trying to go from bottom to top. It don't matter as long as you ain't snagging through it. Well, it don't matter to me. Now, you're supposed to go from bottom to top, which is the ends to the root or whatever. Woo! Oh, Lord. Okay, y'all, I got it. So I'm going to, I know y'all probably interested in how I'm going to do the size, but I'm going to do the size just like I did that. See how much hair I got in that comb? If I would have been combing all the way through the whole entire time and not using my fingers, I would have got way more breakage than that. Um, shedded hair than that. I'm going to just say shedded hair because I won't consider that breakage because I ain't break none. And hold on, let me, let me pin this down. Comb that little section is detangled. So I'm going to take a bobby pin. I'll try it. Look, my hair's so thick at the roots. The bobby pin, I want to act right. Okay. Okay, come through bobby pin. 
Anyways, y'all, I'm going to detangle the rest of this hair, and then I will come back. Let me let me take one loose so y'all can see how I do this one right here. It's the same method. I'm just taking this hair a, a loose and very gently taking my time and working through my hair with my fingers now with my fingers don't take a comb like we used to do back in the days and just psh, 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 comb it loose don't do that because you're gonna lose more hair than necessary um you're gonna lose your shedded hair regardless because the shedded hair has already shedded it's just sitting in your hair that's what the shit it had. It's just sitting there chilling. So don't think like when you combing your hair after a long term protective style that you pulling off your hair. Unless you're not being gentle and taking your time, you might be pulling out your hair. But if you take your time and be gentle with it, um, as like I'm doing now, talking to y'all, just you know, watch a TV show, you know, listen to the radio or something to keep your mind clear. So, because your hair, honey, black folk hair can get you frustrated. Okay. Uh, well, anybody have probably get you frustrated, but probably not as frustrated as ours will get, okay? Because it's so extra curly, and the curls fall over each other and tangle and, and grow into each other and all kind of mess. So it'll, it'll get you frustrated if you type of person that ain't got no patience. So if you ain't got no patience, honey, you might need to let somebody else take your hair loose. That's if you're trying to grow it. But if you don't, you know, if you don't care, then go on, snatch it out. I don't care. That's your hair. <laughs> Anyway, child, I just took this loose, and as you can see, like on my ends right here, over like I say, around the hairline is the place you're gonna see matted areas the most. And there is this knot right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's it's kind of locked. And you want to just take your time, go through this lock, and get it loose. I tend to put both of my fingers here, like this, and just pull it, work it, wiggle it around, and work through it. Work through the knot, work through the knot until it come loose. And you got to have patience because these knots, they're not, they're not playing, you know. I got that little piece down, and then I'm going to work it until I get each little tiny strands of hair out at, at a time. That's how you got to do it, y'all. I'm telling y'all what I know about my hair. By my hair, I'm telling y'all what I know. Look, am I, am I up too high, child? Okay. So, um, just got to have a lot of patience, for real. You can't just do this and then expect the miracle. And, um, because if you ain't got no patience, honey, you're going to lose twice as much hair as you are going to lose anyway. So, you just have to take your time on these little matted ends. I got, I'm getting little tiny pieces of hair loose out this little matted up at a time. And, um, this is why I don't wear like box braids no more because this happens to me, to my hair a lot. It gets that little matte ball at the base of it and then I got to do that to every little piece and then I will lose a whole lot of hair just doing that because when you got box braids, you got a thousand of them in there, you know? And just doing this to a thousand little different ones, honey. No, not no more. That's why people have setbacks and stuff like that because box braids and those individual braids and those twist and all of that if you have men for a long time now i can't say everybody have a setback but if you put individual if you put that much stress on that many individual pieces of hair then you just gonna lose that much more hair so i'm having patience as y'all see this is real time now um and i just pulled out this little knot ball here it just came out See that not, I you know it just sometimes you just gone gonna lose a little bit of hair, but you just gotta still be patient with it. Cause if I wouldn't have took my time with a hundred, that knot ball would have been way bigger than that. So I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm gonna do this around my whole head now, and then I'll be back to show y'all what my hair looks like completely taken down, okay? And combed out, okay. Well, I might comb it out when I come back, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, child. All right. Hey, y'all. I am back. It has been like two hours later, and a whole Cat Williams is pimping, pimping episode, making me laugh while I take my hair loose, so I won't think about my hair, y'all. So it's good to watch you a good comedy um video or whatever while you take your hair loose, so you can laugh and forget about the pain and the suffering that you're going through trying to take out your nappy naps okay anyways you guys let me show you what my hair looking like <gasps> under this bonnet 
under this bonnet, y'all. Check out all the gray. All the little grays coming in, child. I'm getting old, child. Y'all see this bonnet, right? It hold all of this mess. So, this is what my hair is looking like. Oh, am I, am I down far enough? Hold on, let me make the camera. See if I can get it now. Okay. This is what my hair looking like. Hey, hair, how you doing, hair girl? Hey, say you in a minute, girl. <laughs> I'm glad to see my hair. I feel like I'm finally free, y'all. Y'all see that? I combed it out with my good little Hercules comb right here, y'all. Y'all ain't got to go out and get this because this comb was kind of expensive. Go to your little hair store and get this one. This one like a dollar, maybe two dollars, but no more than that. It's, I like the Hercules comb better, but it is what it is. I bought this in a time of crisis, okay, when my hair was shedding ridiculously when I was on chemotherapy so that's the only reason why I bought that because I was like Jesus I need something that's gonna work something that's gonna work you know but anyways you guys look at my hair look at my hair it's, it's a lot <sighs> can you see okay oh let me go get the hair let me go get the hair that I lost hold on okay y'all Brian acting right okay y'all this is the amount of shedded hair that I had. Yeah, I know it looks like a lot. It is a lot. But my hair was done for eight whole weeks. Eight weeks. So, this is what I got. This is what I got when I was taking it loose in here, if, you know, on the camera. And then when I went in the room and combed it all out, I got this much. So, it's, it's not that much um, for eight weeks. Eight weeks is a long time to have your hair pent up and cooped up in some braids, y'all. Um, that's all the shedded hair that I had already lost. It was already tangled in, 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 in between, you know, the braids and things. And then some of the hair shedded, I thought, you know, combing it. So it's not that bad for eight weeks. And that's like normal to me. Um, so y'all know I'm relaxed. So my roots are very thick thicker than my ends and oh my god I can't even I can't even show you guys what my hair look like um this is like my my batter side that I lost like a mole hat in so you're gonna see it's a little bit thinner on the ends over there but it still has grown because I can tell that this part here with the line of demarcation at it is down here now it was up here it was literally up here. I ain't got no before and after pictures, honey. Just take my word for it. That's what it was. I know where it was. Okay? So, that's just... This is what my hair is looking like. Woo! Y'all, I don't even know what's next, you know, because I feel like I need to get a touch-up because I can't... I, I ain't even spin around chair, y'all. I'm in this little raggedy tag of the chair here because my other chair, I had to take it um, in the back for when I sew. I need to spin around and be able to roll. So I ain't got my chair, so I can't do no 360 like that. I got to, I got to do this here. Ooh, the old-fashioned way before I got me an office chair. But, child, this is what my hair looking like. Hope y'all can see all this here new growth. Listen here, somebody say praise God for no bald spots. You hear me? Praise God, no more ball spots up in there. No more ball spots. Woo! No more ball spots. Lord, I counsel took my hair. As this video is long enough, I hope you guys stayed and paid attention to the whole video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let, um, click the bell to be notified. You already know because I will be coming back with a possible relaxer update i don't know but because i took my hair out just now so it's it is uh, uh what you call it it's messed with honey it's i don't i don't touch and, and manipulate my scalp and things so i can't put that on i got to wait got to read my scalp and wait to that okay anyways you guys thanks so much for watching i'm going to end this video right here because that's all i got to say and i will holler at y'all later bye